Why, well, hello everybody, this is Nintendo Death Machine here, welcoming you back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. And in the last episode, we spoke to people in Liner City and we got to this part in the Maku Cave, which is the exit. So now we're going to go up the stairs and see what the Maku Tree has to say. What is a female? Pleased to meet you, young hero. I am the Maku Tree, guardian of Labrina. Varen, sorceress of shadows, has taken Nehru, the Oracle of Ages, she's disrupting the flow of time from the past. She's trying to flood this world with the power of sorrow. We cannot give in to one of impure heart. You must stop Ferran and, so and soon, but to stop her, you'll need something. Oh, well, give us that something then. Then we can go and stop Ferran. Oh wait, hang on a second, what's going on? Ah! Uh, strobe effects or really flashy effects. I feel so weird. I'm vanishing. Something must be happening to me in the past. Help! Are you vanishing? Oh, Varen's causing some bad uh, thing or making s some bad things happen in the past. <clears throat> the Maku Tree, this is more of Varen's work. Link, you, mo you made it. Varen just leapt through this time portal. If we go back in time, we should be able to save Nehru and the Maku Tree. I'm coming, Nehru. Well, you must have some really huge infatuation over Nehru, seriously. <laughs> to go out, like, I don't know, he's always talking about saving Nehru, whereas saving the world is a much more important thing. Uh, another one? First, that guy with the weird hat appears, and then you. Ever since that girl Nehru came, came there's been all sorts of weird goings on. Yeah, you're telling me, like, going back to the past, going back to the future, that only ha started happening since she appeared. And I'll show you the difference now that there is also a map for the past. But yeah, this is the map for the past. And it is the same overworld. It's still got the same amount of squares, I guess. And, um, but things are different, obviously, as you can tell. Um, but this is basically where Nehru's house was. Um, I don't know if you... You probably can't tell because of how different it looks in the past, but... Yeah, um, th this is basically where Nehru's house was, and I don't think it exists in the past. Her house does, anyway, I don't think it does. But some houses exist in the past, some houses exist in the future, some exist both in the same time period, uh, but just have different things inside them. Chevel's house. Uh, yeah, we'll be going there later. <laughs> don't need to worry about that for now. But, oh, wow, the ember tree is still here. Ouch, you can't uh, carry them like that. Well, the fire tree. Well, uh, embers. Well, they look like embers because they're tiny little f balls of fire. And you usually call those embers. There's been, no mi there's been no night for many days, as if time has stopped. I wonder why that is. Hmm. Maybe Link in Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask played the time, made time go really, really slow. Manipulated time to go really slow. Alright. Well. Let's speak to this kid and see what... I am Rafton. My dream is to make fine rafts that can sail the seas. Sail the seven seas, me hearties. Let's go to... Um... Davy Jones's locker and be like... And reenact the movie Pirates of the Caribbean. I will be Jack Sparrow. And I'll have all my other crewmates... Um... To assist me. <laughs> The Queen was very kind until only recently. You can ask the village elder about the Queen. He lives across the river near the tower. Right, the, in in um the in the past, right, you have like you have um well obviously the buildings have all changed. There are new villages and stuff and they all say different things. But um also the shops have changed as well. The sh the location of the shop has changed. Uh you got mini games in town now as well. The Maku tree is a talking tree, but lately she's been bothered by monsters. <clears throat> the village has been full of rubble ever since work started on that tower. You can't get anywhere without a shovel to clear a path. Maku path. Alright, so, um, I won't be recording a lot today. I did try to attempt to record Super Mario Galaxy, but the problem was that I tried to record it and it lagged like crazy, so I just said screw it. Um, it was the first video I was recording of it as well, and it just lagged within the first four minutes of recording. It just like had a seizure or something. I couldn't do anything, and I was dying left, right, and center. This is Liner Village. Waha! Oh, wah! 
Oh, excuse me, we haven't had any nights for a few days now. <coughs> but yeah, the reason why I won't be recording much today is because I've also got an earache, kind of. But I'm still trying to give it as much of enthusiasm and gusto as I can. <laughs> The village is full of excess dirt from the tower. There's no room to walk and walk any and any tools we could use to clear a path are being used for construction. <clears throat> right, so this is the mini game I was talking about, but sadly we don't have enough rupees. Ugh. What a bummer. I thought I had plenty of those anyway, plenty of rupees, but like, the best way of grinding for rupees in this game is when you get the shovel, because you can dig out dirt, and sometimes you get, like, max, like, over 200 rupees sometimes. You can get really lucky and find big money. But, for now, the best way of grinding for rupees is to cut grass. Queen Ambi had a boyfriend, a sea seafaring man, but he set sail one day and never came back. She's building a tall tower so she can search for the, search the lands for any sign of his return. It's called Ambi's Tower. It was a touching tale. Yeah, it does sound kind of touching. <laughs> She's trying to find her lost loved one who got lost out in sea. So that's what the purpose of the tower is. Huh. In the past it's called Ambi's Tower, but in the future it's called the Black Tower. I wonder what happened. Probably Veron's doing, no doubt. <laughs> Darn, a gash of seeds sprouting. Growing mackin' nuts and all those new nuts got some different stuff inside. Ha ha ha! You get rid of it for me. Uh, what we got a teardrop? You got a gasha seed. Plant it in soft soil. I know there's so I know there's soil right by my house, but don't go planting the seeds there. Alright, so basically what this what gasha seeds work as is like your magic beans in Ocarina of Time or your magic beans in Majora's Mask. They basically seem, serve the same kind of purpose. But in this game, you don't have to water them or you don't have to play a song to make time go fast or make no go to the future to turn to Adult Link or anything like that. It's not like Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask the way how these seeds work. In this game, however, you just plant them and you wait for them to grow over a period of time. It doesn't matter if you go to the past, it doesn't matter if you go to the future, they still sit, they still stay they still stay the same even if you go into the future or even if you go into the past. So yeah, it's just a matter of waiting for those things to grow. And when they grow, you, they grow a nut, and what you have to do is knock the nut off the tree and then you get an item out of it. Um, sometimes you get something really good, or something you get some. Sometimes you get something really crap. It all depends. I am Adlar. For 50 years, I was a, I was, I was a palace advisor, but I have b since been chased from the palace and am now retired. I have known the queen since she was young. She always held the people foremost in her heart, but since she took that girl Nehru in, she has changed completely. She quit listening to my advice. It was that girl who suggested I'd be banished. But... Be banished? Hmm. Right, so let's go into the tower then, because I think that's the main point, or main point of interest in the past anyway. Because uh, there's no shops open, we can't really do any mini-games or anything like that. Why build such a huge thing? It's just work, work, work. Well, that's the real life for you, pal. <laughs> You don't get off too easily. This is the entry to the tower. Oh, I see a heart piece! Yeah, but it's blocked by the dirt. Uh, tower being built to the heavens by the order of Queen Ambi. Oh, we got a little cutscene here. At first, this tower was being built to guide Queen Ambi's love safely back from the sea. But ever since Nehru came, the sun sits high in the sky as if time itself has stopped. It's not like Queen Ambi to push us so hard in the village. They've started calling it that Black Tower. Oh, so it is Queen Ambi's Tower, but you guys call it the Black Tower. <laughs> you can look around, but the construction has some areas closed. If you hang around too much, though, you might get yelled at. Wait, is it called the Black Tower on the map? Hang on, let me see, is it? Yeah, it is called the Black Tower on the map. Oh. Well, that's surprising. I thought it was called Ambi's Tower in the past because she said it was called Ambi's Tower because he was looking, because she built the tower to look for her lost loved one. Ah, uh, but then in the future I thought it changed because Varen took over the Black Tower. All right, so let's speak to some people in here. Some, a lot of people in here say the same thing over and over again. Uh, even different people say the same thing. Dig, dump, dig. 
Busy, 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 busy. If I don't hurry, the guards will come. Check on me. Shh! Don't tell, any don't tell anyone. I'm one of you guys. I'm one of you guys. I'm one of the builders here. Don't kick me out. <laughs> um, loafers won't get off easy. Uh, oh, how long have I worked? Night never comes, so I can't tell. I want to go home. Yeah, you're homesick, buddy. Yeah, I know. Just grab a tel just grab a telephone and call your dad. He'll give you all the experience you need and all the money and stuff. Yeah, I was referencing I was referencing Earthbound. <laughs> what kid did you come to help us build? Uh, we're supposed to finish tomorrow, but we're way behind schedule. We'll never make it. Um. Hey, come here, I want to speak to you. This here, that there, no, that goes here. No, sleep. My son's home alone. It's no use. What a horrible queen. But don't tell anyone. Horrible queen. Yeah, she does seem horrible. I don't Well, no, she doesn't seem horrible. She doesn't have a bad purpose. She's just trying to find a loved one. Like, <laughs> uh, we must finish the tower for Ambi as quickly as possible. Huh, a digging tool, that's the spirit. Sonny, here, you can have this shovel. Can you use the hot shovel to move that dirt out of the way? Uh, you got the shovel, now start digging. I'm digging a hole, diggy diggy hole, I'm digging a hole. <laughs> uh, Alright, so, um, let's just dig all the dirt out of the way so we can get to this area here. Alright, so now the shovel is probably the most useful weapon in the game to find hidden items and stuff. Even gasha uh, destinations where you can plant gasha seeds. Um, so, I think I'll end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So, in the next episode of Let's Play uh, The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, we go look where we have to go next, I guess. <laughs> so, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take care, everybody. See you on my next video, and goodbye.